Good morning guys. So I'm about to take a pregnancy test. Take the pregnancy test and then I can chat with you while we're waiting. So I'm just using like a, the first response where it has like one line negative, two lines pregnant. I have my sample in a cup. I'm just going to one, two, three. I'm just going to put the cap on it, make sure that the, okay, so it's working, so it's like going through, so I'm just going to cover it with the box. Okay, um, I'm going to put my alarm for, or not alarm, a timer for three minutes. Okay, so, okay, so two months ago, my sister told me she was pregnant. The second my sister told me that she was pregnant, I got so unbelievably just overwhelmed with joy and excitement that I was, it just hit me right then and there. I'm like, wow, if I'm this excited for a niece or nephew, imagine how I'd feel for one of my own children. So the next day I sat down with Jim and I'm like, and I've been on birth control for the past like 15 years. And I asked, I said to Jim, I'm like, this is what I'm feeling now. I'm almost 33. I'm overweight. I have hypothyroidism. Um, and I've been on birth control for 15 years. If we want a baby, it might take us forever. It might take us a year or more, who knows, if we can even do it naturally. Um, and I was initially put on birth control by my doctor because I had irregular periods. She actually thought I had PCOS. And I was tested and she didn't find any cysts, but I had all the symptoms. So I told him, I'm like, it might take a year. So if we're thinking about it, I'm already, like I'm almost 33. Maybe I should stop the pill now to regulate my cycle, see if I'm gonna need help regulating my cycle, blah, blah, blah. So he was like, okay, you know, stop the pill and whatever. So I stopped the pill like December 1st or something like that. And the one whole cycle, like I wasn't doing anything to try other than I knew when I had my last period and I knew like when around you would ovulate or whatever. And I, we tried whatever and then I got my period on New Year's Eve, so, yay. Um, and then, sorry if I'm just weird, I'm like, my body's physically shaking right now because I'm so excited and so nervous right now, and I'll tell you why in a second. <sighs> oh. So, nothing I got. It's done. So, um, I, I was like, okay, next cycle and so the cycle in January um it did not seem likey likey it did not seem likely that we would have conceived just because of the timing and our schedules we didn't make much time for trying and I totally wrote it off and then um I actually started spotting um the weekend I don't know how many days ago it is I can't even think right now I started spotting so then I'm like okay my period's coming in a couple days and then that was it and I went and then I was with my mom we were at the mall and my boobs were in so much pain we were walking through the mall and every little step I was making was killing them and now sometimes my breasts get tender for my period 
but never this way. It felt like my veiny and my veins were hurting. I can't explain it. So I bought a pregnancy test while I was out and my mom's like, but you said you're spotting. So like, why, why, why do you want to waste money? And I'm like, well, I'll, I'll just keep it. And if my period doesn't come, I'll test. And if it does come, I'll use it for next month. Anyways, that night I went to bed and I was so, I am so dying to check. And I was going to wait until my period was supposed to be here because it's still not here for a few days. But I was in bed and I couldn't sleep. So at like 5 a.m. I came to the bathroom. I peed on a stick and I looked at it at a glance, thought it was negative. But when I looked at it again, I could swear I saw a shadow. It had no color. It was like gray shadow. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So... I know that like your HCG levels can double or whatever over time. So I'm like, let me wait. So now is the moment of truth and I'm going to look. Wow, that is positive. There is no mistaking that this is positive. Oh my God. Wow! <laughs> oh, there's color. It's faint. It's not as dark as like the control line, but how do people do this? Wow. Wow. My God, guys. Guys, my second cycle. Oh my God. I feel if this is true, well, there's no false positives. Okay, now I'm, okay, so I'm really hoping that this is it looks like I fully see pink. It's fully, it's fully there. Um, it's fully there. And I'm just hoping that this, that this sticks like, that it, um, <clears throat> because my hormones have always been kind of out of whack. That's why I've been on um, thyroid medication since I was like, I don't know, 15 or whatever. And I'm still overweight. So I just thought that it would take me a long time for my body. And then, wow. So I didn't even like, okay, sorry guys. Sorry, I'm not being coherent. And I'm not, I'm in, I'm in utter shock. squint it's there see the, the other test was like there was no color it was gray and it was like so faint that I could see like the bottom of it starting the line I'm like is that is that is that or um it like I thought because I've been watching some YouTube videos and I was like it could be an evaporation line or something like the, your pee I don't know I don't know so that's what I thought the other day and now this is like, whoa, in your face, like, whoa. You can't even see it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys. Guys, I don't know what to say. I just feel, oh my God, I feel so, this is too good to be true. I feel so lucky, I feel so lucky right now. I feel so blessed right now. I'm just praying. I'm just praying the sticks. Okay, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this. So I'm gonna call, oh, okay, so I'm gonna tell Jim, I'm gonna tell my parents and I'm gonna tell, I wanna tell my mom so badly. And my sister's pregnant. 
My sister's pregnant. Oh my god, we're gonna be pregnant at the same time. Okay, good. October, it's gonna be due in October. My sister's due at the end of July. Oh my god, we're gonna be pregnant together. That's what I want. Like, I was so funny when she told me she was pregnant. She's like, I'm pregnant. And I'm like, oh, now I want a baby. And I want to be pre pregnant with you. Oh my god, but I didn't. I honestly thought. Okay, I thought that it would take us a year, and then I thought, best case scenario, like four to six months, like that would be cool, like good, like I'd be happy with that. I feel that I feel like butterflies. Like, is is this too good to be true? Please, God, I hope, dear God, please, dear God, thank you so much, God, please let this stick. Okay, I don't know what else to say. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. Sorry that you saw my pee. I don't know if I can cut that out a little bit. Um, wow, so my weight loss journey. My weight loss journey <laughs> is not only not on hold, but it's like full blown. Like this gives me such a motivation to like um oh my god it gives me such a motivation to be healthy like this isn't about anything else now i just want to be eat healthy and just give my baby so much healthy food and i want to like exercise to give my baby good circulation <laughs> Oh my god, my back hurt. my back is hurting right now from me shaking. Oh my god, see my boobs, my boobs. I'm feeling fine, but just my boobs are so much pain. Because especially now from the weight loss, they hang so like low and and just walking hurts them so like I need to like wear a sports bra, but I can't wear my regular bra because it's too hurty and restricting. I feel like I'm getting hot. Oh, I'm just so happy right now. Oh my gosh, I've been filming for too long. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know what to say. It's this is the pregnancy. Wow, a whole new journey. But it's still my weight loss journey. This is my weight loss journey has gone through so many things and. I started off with just like the motivation from within and just to make it drive and then after a year or so it kind of died down and then I got married, was getting married and so I continued to try to be healthy for that and then it kind of died after the wedding and then now there's a whole new motivation that's restarting this whole thing and making me want to be healthy and I really, ho I really hope this sticks. I really hope this sticks, please. Oh my God. And then that's it. We're going to, um, that's it. I'm just, I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Oh, some people wait like three months. I don't think I could wait that long. I share everything with you guys. I think maybe like after the, I see my doctor and she says like, okay, it's good for now. Like everything seems good. Then I think I'm just going to share this because even if, Knock on wood, I have no wood. Even if knock on wood, it you know, things don't go the way it's supposed to go, um, you would still, like, I would still want to share that with you guys, so. I would still want to share that with you guys because I, you know, I share everything with you and I want you to know what's going on with me. If I go MIA for a few days, I would want you to know that. Um, so I think I'm going to share it earlier rather than later. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. This is your first time meeting me. Oh, my gosh. Um, check out my channel and see if it's something you'd like to subscribe to. And thumbs up this video for a little baby. A little Greek-Italian blend. <laughs>
Okay, guys, I love you guys. See you soon.